Right people, the sun is shining and it's time for simple chicken loving. What I'm gonna do is chicken tikka. It's really simple, mega flavorful, and flavorful, it is a word. Let's get the paste done. The paste is red chilies, garlic, and ginger. And we're gonna chop those up. We want a good thumb of ginger into there. Two red chilies. Take the tops off, chop them up. So then just crush your bulbs. Break them open so you can get the skin off them easily. Drop those bad boys in as well. Okay, simple. I love it. Now, a little bit of rapeseed oil, just to help everything get to know each other. And now we blitz. That's done. Now let's get the spices ready. Coriander seeds. Take a teaspoon of those. So now we're going to smash those up to release all that pungent flavour. See, the good thing about using um, coriander seeds and breaking them down, just releases so much flavour. And can you see, we've just broken it all down. You can use coriander powder if you want to, but use the seeds because you just get more of an explosion of flavour. Ground cumin, what about a teaspoon of that? Garam masala, it's so important, it's a mix of spices. So much going on with that. Turmeric's really important for flavour and also for colour. Finally, Got some ground ginger. Now, I've put ginger in the paste, but I just love ginger. Just adds a little bit of extra loving. Maybe half a teaspoon for this. Okay, so now let's incorporate everything. So, bowl, yogurt. I've got four big spoons of yogurt there. I've got my spices. Let's just add those in. And now we're gonna add the paste. And we're just gonna get all that into here. But what's also great is while it's in the oven, it's, it's exploding and releasing and giving all that flavour. Okay, so I just want some coriander stalks to go in here. So just take a chunk out and then I'm just gonna very finely razzle them up and then I'm just gonna whack those in as well. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of lime in. Just get that in. Go on, get in. So much flavour, ready to go and explode in the oven onto the chicken. So let's bring those together. So we've got our chicken. Let's put that in there. Our tikka seasoning. So now I'm going to get those ingredients to all know each other. Incorporate them all in. They make friends. Hi, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Right, so these bad boys really need two hours in the fridge to marinate. If you can leave them till the next day, even better. But we haven't got time, so I'm gonna whack them in the oven. Okay, it's been a few years. So, while the chicken is cooking, I've got some leftover ingredients. I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick, simple yogurt dressing to go with it. So, bowlage, leftover yogurt, in she goes. Leftover lime, zest, Aruni. So we're just going to get some fresh, pungent, beautiful mint into this. Just works so well. So now we're just going to put a little drizzle of rapeseed oil in there. We're just going to incorporate these ingredients. So just bring that together. And that is your dressing done. Now, let's go check on the chicken. We're ready for the simple chicken loving that is chicken tikka, my brothers and sisters. So, we're just gonna plate this up. I mean, just look at this. A few more mint leaves, a nice chunk of coriander leaves, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick those over the top. And flying in the face of all tradition, I'm gonna put a little bit of honey on the top, so we're just gonna drizzle this bad boy over there. Oh, that's so illegal and naughty. Oh, brothers and sisters. That is the simple chicken loving that is chicken tikka. It's flipping delicious. Right, I'm going in, don't mess about. It's so good. I know it's yogurt, yogurt, but that just cuts through the heaviness. Mega. You've got to cook this. You've got to cook it, it's going to change your life. Mmm.